Good morning. I'm Mary Salyards, and um, I was asked to reflect perhaps on what I can be thankful for during this time with so much going on in the world and the pandemic and actually being home alone a lot. So I, um, I would like to just share a personal reflection and just a short story of my neighborhood. Um, one of the things is I was visiting with my mom and she's up in her 90s and we were talking about life and change and one of the things she said, um, well, Mary, change comes and change is often a time for rest. And I reflected on that and um, couldn't quite understand, but really know what she was saying, because with this change, we've had to rest. We've had to withdraw from many of our, much of our busyness. And I um, know that I am a joiner. I like to be out and about, and um, I haven't been able to do that as much. So I um, have looked at it and said, oh, that is a gift. What wisdom my mom had. So when I refer to being home alone, I wouldn't be my first choice, but it is the choice I have now. And what that has allowed me to do is to really be with me and to listen where, to be still for here I am as God says. And I feel like I have been able to just sink into that, that being with God and in having him enfold me into um, a, a partnership and a communion that I haven't had when being so busy some days. And I, I hear him say, you know, I love you. I protect you. I can laugh with you. I can cry with you. And I am really your only constant in this world. He is the real thing. He's the real thing. So for that, I am grateful. That, that is my, my story of being home alone. And it's, it's where it is right now. Thank you, pandemic, for that little nugget. <laughs> um, the, the short story is my neighborhood. I live on a cul-de-sac. I've lived here for over 22 years and um, 11 homes, 11 families, aged from four to 84. And um, we've always been kind of a constant neighborhood. So we've watched children grow and, and older people getting older like myself. And we, um, would say, hi, how are you? We always got together a couple times in neighborhoods during the year as a group. But with this pandemic, um, my dear, beautiful neighbor, Carolyn said one day, or sent out an email and said, anyone want to gather at the end of the cul-de-sac? Bring your chairs, bring your, wear your mask, stay distanced, six foot distancing, and um, bring something to eat or drink of your preference and let's share our words. That has been such a gift. For 32 weeks, eight months, we are meeting in the cul-de-sac and we know one another so much in a much, such a deep level. We, um, we know who might be suffering. We know who has cancer. We know that children are being homeschooled. And rather than how are you, good day, how are the kiddos? How can we help? Can we, Batch of chocolate chip cookies maybe help in this instance. Do you need a ride to the doctor? This is a new family. This is a gift. And being home alone, I really am so blessed to have this family, on Moral, the Morlanders, as we call ourselves now. So in, in about three sentences, I, I just think I'm just so blessed and so grateful and as in God's spell, as they sing, may I see thee more clearly, love thee more dearly, and follow thee more nearly. This is what this is about today in our world of pandemic.